Thanks for watching with us. There are a vast amount of industries in our area, but did you know that one of them allows you to take to the skies? Our Gino Recchia traveled north to the state line and has more. Here in the border town of Menominee, Michigan, lies Enstrom Helicopter Corporation, a company that has been here since the very beginning. Celebrating its 60th year, the corporation was founded in 1959 by mining engineer Rudolf Enstrom. With some help by a local businessman and aeronautical engineers from the East Coast, the company was off and running. A few experimental helicopters were tested and by 1965 their first product was born, a piston-powered helicopter, the F-28. The company continued to grow from a small one-room building to now 150,000 square foot facility. So the fact that Enstrom is still here in Menominee, Michigan in the Upper Peninsula after 60 years is, is really very unique. The company currently builds three models of helicopters. Two of them have piston engines. The third one has a turbofan engine, just like an engine you see on an airplane. Over 1,300 aircraft have been built with a wide range of customers from civilian to military and policing. One of those customers happens to be in our neighboring state. One of our customers is the Minnesota DNR. They used our aircraft um, for uh, game patrols and wildlife surveys, uh, port security in Port of Duluth. A helicopter flies by using a main rotor and a tail rotor. The main rotor provides most of the lift and the tail rotor helps guide the nose of the aircraft. As the pilot moves the flight controls, the rotor angle pitches as well. With it spinning at 350 RPM, it's a lot of moving parts to make sure a helicopter works properly. When we move the, the cyclic stick to control the helicopter, it actually changes the pitch of the blades. And it will change the pitch of the blades independently, and that will tilt the whole rotor system left to right, which of course causes the helicopter to go left or right, or forward or back. Over 90% of the aircraft is built in the factory. This is rather unique for an aerospace company. Because of this, they are able to keep the prices lower and that draws in customers from around the world. Curious how much one of these costs? The helicopter costs about a million and a half dollars, which sounds like a lot of money, but in the helicopter world, that's not. And so it offers them a low cost platform. So perhaps the next helicopter you get inside of will be one that was built in a hometown of ours. Reporting in Menominee, Michigan, meteorologist Gina Recchia, NBC 26. All right, cool. I bet you Gino really enjoyed that trip. That is right up his alley. For sure. And yours a little bit. Pretty yeah, much. He probably enjoyed that as well. A little aeronautics. Okay.